Welcome back, Achievers. The spoiler cast for Horizon Hidden West and a slight review discussion that the show with. Mm -hmm. Good morning, your host, Elijah. Sitting across me digitally, of course, as always, is Alex. Hello, everyone. I'm ready to talk about Horizon. It took us way too long to do this. Took a, yeah, it took a little while. Elden Ring. That, that'll do it. That took, yeah, that took over. That'll do it. So, Elden Ring completely diverted this spoiler cast, but we brought it to you now. So, this is live for you now. So, we're excited to talk about some Forbidden West that I feel like Alex. Hmm. I know you're not as much as on the internet as I am, but that was quickly kind of lost in, like, the kind of thought sphere. I don't know if you uh agree. No, I definitely agree. Like, I remember, like, oh, it's like everybody was so excited for Horizon. And then out of nowhere, Elden, Elden Ring, Ring came out. And came then from the top ropes and just fucking took this thing out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I definitely, um, like, I, I mean, like, I was just thinking about it when we were about to do this. I was like, it's been almost two months. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I literally platinum the game and never thought about it again. It's weird. I'm not saying it's bad. Well, I guess but we'll like get into weird. that, actually. Speaking yeah. of Alex Platt in the game, I did as well. So we kind of have a full breadth of knowledge, I guess you could say, about the game. I have yep. about 81% completion. I am not 100%ing the game. Okay. But I did want to do as much as I wanted to um, in the game. Like There was a lot of things I wanted to do that had nothing to do with the Platinum. For instance, like the arena, I very much wanted to do. I wanted to get all the weapons from there. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's probably the only thing that I did extra was the arena because I thought you needed it for certain things and then i just did all of it and i was like i got nothing I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you got medals <laughs> yeah stuff yeah i got medals for stuff. the weapons that yeah that's pretty much i used it for uh but alex as a let's start this with a kind of slight review and we'll quickly uh, get in the spoiler cast if you want to just skip to the spoiler cast as always there are timestamps below yep but as a, we start off the discussion of the review Let's discuss kind of like where we start off. We start off, of course, with Aloy, basically six months after the events of the previous game, so pretty soon after. And the world is pretty fucked. <laughs> I mean, it. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite things, honestly, is uh, you definitely feel like you're on the ropes when you start the game. When you eventually go get um, a guy. This is early stuff in the game, but, but you learn yeah. like the place only has like a couple months left and things like that. So. We won't mm -hmm. get into like the rest of the game, but that's like the b basic premise of the game, and it was very good. I I enjoyed just about everything that I played about the game. I loved the combat. This is like the perfect kind of. This is like a good example of a sequel, right? It's like basically everything was improved, mm -hmm. but I will say not too much has changed. So if you played the first one, and I'll be honest, if you don't want to play that again, then this is not going to be for you. But if you loved the first one, if you're looking for a good open world. Jump into this one. I I had a blast. What do you think? Yeah, no, I I definitely enjoyed it, and it's crazy because it took me uh, a couple years to even finish the first one. I finally like uh, maybe what was it two three months before the this one came out is when I went back that to the first right. one. Yeah, and I never had I never played it. I like I never beat it. I put maybe ten hours in the game, and that was it. Mm -hmm. And you went back. So I and you played. I went back game? to it. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it, and then I was like, all right, I have some time for the second one. I'm excited. I played this one, played it nonstop, and then uh, it was it was fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed this game a lot. Now I do like the setting is one of my favorite parts. Um, mm -hmm. I won't spoil what it is because it's a core reveal, but they kind of play you know kind of fast and loose with locations. But I I enjoyed how they yeah. did it. I liked it a lot. Yeah, for sure. Um, and it's been a long time, so you know you can you can play around with how the Earth is. No, for uh, sure. But yeah, as a as a full review, the gameplay is exactly what you expect. Something is addicting about. I have a bow, and there I know there's components I can shoot off. And for something about when you hit the component just right, and it just mm -hmm. it just does a little. Ping, oh yeah, and it just yeah, falls no, I off. Definitely, so satisfying. Yeah, I definitely enjoy this. Like that's probably one of the best things in the game. Is like when you like you're like, oh god, I'm trying to shoot it. It slows down a little bit. You hit it, and you just see the thing go pop, and it comes off. And I'm like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's a weapon, too. You're like, go grab the weapon so you can use that. I was so anal about the uh, resources in this game. I, like, rarely mm -hmm. used any of them. I kept everything. Because I, I didn't upgrade stuff till I, like, got the big armor. 
I was like, I'm not upgrading anything. And then I realized there's a, a trophy. So I was like, okay, well, I'll upgrade so the speaking cheap of stuff. So we're gonna, I'm going to bring this up now. So I recently saw a tweet from Mr. Emmett Watkins Jr. Mm. about that you can take off a certain animation when you oh, pick yes. up resources. Yeah, you can. Was not aware of this. I wish I was, because my god, literally, you could just go up to it, hit the button, and it just skips the animation. Like, I, that was the one thing I always hated. Yeah, I always hated, like, that animation, because I'm like, oh my god, it's taking forever. I did not know that you could do that. Yeah, I I saw a lot of people frustrated with it as well. I just, I didn't care, if I'm being honest. But I did Mm. see other people, and I get it. You know, it it does, it does, she has to get down, get back up. Yeah, so I get why people would be upset. I just, I don't know why. I don't know. It's weird, Elijah thing, but I like, I like her having to pick it up and put it. Yeah, I don't know why. You're a monster. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm disgusting. Clearly, <laughs> but I, I liked that aspect. Uh, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's cool. And I was actually still playing the game. I was like, oh, that's cool. But I, I mean, I didn't go into the settings and activate it or anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, we both, uh, and to be clear, we played this on PS5, both of us. Um, yes. And we both played uh, performance mode. Yeah. Great, great frame. Uh, let's quickly get into the technicals of this game. I did have a honestly surprising amount of bugs. Nothing crazy. Nothing like game breaking or just little things like there were pop-ins that had some issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, I fell into the world, I think, one time. Or I might have fell into the. I don't. I don't think I fell into the world. I think I like fell into a rock. And I. I think I had a restart checkpoint, if I remember correctly. So and there are a couple instances of that stuff. You clip into things. So any anything for you? I didn't have anything crazy like that. Like I've even seen online where people are like they go to swim and they're just they they apparently keep swimming so, and it just keeps going across the dirt. Too. I didn't There's, get anything like that. I saw that too. People. Well, I saw someone in the air. I don't know how it yeah. happened, but they're in the air yeah. swimming. I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's a no, pretty the crazy only, bug. No, nah, the only thing I've I, like, it's when like, let's say there's like a bunch of uh, machines in my way and I'm trying to do a bunch of stuff or climb or something like maybe like freaks out a little bit. But other than that, I mean, I didn't have anything too major. Okay. So, I mean, other than that, I mean, I didn't have really any issues that I remember. Now, because I want to jump in the spoiler cast, let's. Let's review kind of story, and that'll be way, the way we segue into the spoiler cast. So, I will mm. say one thing: uh, didn't see it coming. Where the story is, I don't think anyone that's buying this video game really is going to be like, "Oh, duh!" <laughs> of course, that's where the story goes. Uh, it was very surprising the way it starts and ends. Uh, mm-hmm. I I actually liked it, but it was pr- it's pretty out there, so I kind of get. I was actually shocked that people seemed to like it because I was like, oh, I thought people would have so much of an issue with what happens in the game. I was like, because when it happened, I was like, ooh, I don't think the actual, because it seems sort of. um, It's a spoiler cast. I feel like we could talk about it. No, we can, but this is the review. I don't want to spoil stuff. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. It's a spoiler cast. Okay, because I'm kind of like not remembering what you're talking about. The whole point, the whole enemy of the game. The entire it, enemy it, game is pretty it. crazy, right? You have yeah, to admit, yeah, right? It's it, yeah. pretty crazy. I liked it. Yeah. I'm just shocked so many people seems to like it. Because I really did yeah. think like when they started talking about it, I was like, wow. Because at first, I thought they were going a different way. We'll do it. and I'll talk about it on this podcast. But I thought it was going to go a different way. And I was like, damn, this, this series is ruined for me. Because I did mm-hmm. not want it to happen. But it didn't go that way, so I'm happy. But uh, quickly to cement, I loved the way it starts and ends. I have a few problems throughout the game, but aside from that point, I enjoyed my time with the story. I liked how, uh, I think it was, I think one issue had was the pacing. It was kind of awkwardly paced in some aspects of the game. Yeah. There were some areas where it's like, okay, you're given a deadline kind of, and it's like, all right, then if we're given a deadline, then certain aspects of the game kind of feel wasted because you're like, all right, well, Kind of need to hurry because this is a big deal. Something's gonna happen soon, so we should. No, like, yeah, be I felt like rush. that was certain. I felt like that was certain areas. Like I feel like it was like, well, they didn't. They kind of felt like this area was a little rushed. So what was the point of putting all of this here? And mm. if you're just gonna rush me to go do something else, yeah. So I will say quickly with the story because I do want to get into spoilers. So we're gonna get into spoilers, yeah. but I will say the story. 
did have some pacing issues with me, but I liked it overall. I don't yeah. have any major pain points of like, wow, I did not like X choice or anything. I enjoyed the game as a whole. I do recommend it for anyone who's played the first game. If you did not play this 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 uh, first game, please, for the love of God, go play it before you play this because it's even going to be crazier if you don't understand the events of the first game. So yeah, please go yeah. play it. If if it's a time issue, put it on easy and fly through the story so we at least understand that. Because this this game is even wilder than the stuff you yep. learn in the first game, and the first game's wild as well. So I do yeah, re- I do fully recommend this game. I want to get into spoilers, Alex. Anything lastly before we hit spoilers? No, I agree with everything you said. Spoilers are on. Alex, where the fuck do space people come from? Not, 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 space not, people? Not only space people. They're Earth pe- or they're humans. They're humans or from Earth, Earth that took a thousand years ago. That are immortal. So they haven't aged. Yeah, they're yeah. immortal. With like, I, I love how quickly. It was, I was like, Jesus, we must have been in like, like we've been. It's been it's been gone for a while. Well, what no? I what I mean uh, is like, uh, like I know we had AIs and stuff, but like they they were made immortal. I was like, they we must have been on the cusp of like crazy shit when the Earth died. Because mm-hmm. if. A couple motherfuckers leaving Earth figured out immortality on the way to their fucking destination. Yeah, that's, that's what, pretty that's crazy. A, that's a little weird. That's it's crazy too because you're like it's been a thousand years. So like, I like those the, the same people that left are coming back, but like, what happened to everybody else? Well, there weren't the, that many people. Well, they I, I think like they got to people, their destination. Right? Well, they got to their destination. I thought they populated for hundreds of years, and then that shit happens at the end. Right, but not many people got away, because I thought they left with very few people. Yeah. Populated a little bit, but only... Isn't there only, like, 12 people on the uh, the ship? The Odyssey, when they come back? Oof. Let me see. Because the Odyssey goes there with a few hundred, I think. And it's and they come back with like tw- like something like it's like twelve or eighteen or something because you see them all at the end of the game. Uh, you see all of them like come out and just get fucking wrecked by a pretty dope action sequence, which I love how they ended the game. Uh, we'll get mm. into that in a second, but um, I don't think I have the number here. No, I don't. Yeah, I was trying to see if I could find it as well. Um. Not telling me. Um, yeah, nothing. Yeah, I it just says it's currently unknown exactly how many claims. It's claimed seventy-seven members of the original consortium actually traveled to on the Odyssey to Sirius oh, okay. to so secure the, the funding. So yeah, so it because it was it's literally to be seventy-seven. The top of the top of people like. Yeah, I assume at that point trillion quadrillionaires yeah. and like super smart, like only the top of the cream. Uh, yeah, where, and it says believe. only a, only eleven people 11. survived the annihilation of the colony. Yeah, so yep. seventy some odd people, eighty, and then fucking eleven people come back because you learn later. Nemesis happens and just fucking mm-hmm. wrecks everybody, wrecks everyone. Uh, mm-hmm. but our original pinpoint before I move on because I'm going to forget. I was so when they when we were learning about Far Zenith, I think when you bring back Aether, we start learning about the Odyssey, because I yeah. think when you do Aether, you see the Far Zenith people. But when we're doing that and Gaia is explaining, I thought because they were like the executions, uh, the uh, extinction signal came from space, and I was like, oh no, they're bringing aliens into this. I was so, Alex, that went. My, I was about. I was so sad. I was like, "No, I don't want this to be about aliens. Please, for the love of God, don't." Do yeah, this. don't do this. And they didn't. I was so happy. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, that's right." The Odyssey, because they do reference it in the first game, um, about the Odyssey, and and they just assumed it died, like it crashed. Yeah, the ship. Yeah, they and just they, disappeared, well, and, and they, they thought lied. it never reached. Yeah, they never reached its destination. Yeah, or whatever. And yeah, come to find out, these fuckers were immortal, and then just came back. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and they get, did arrive, but they made something worse. Which is crazy, because they were like, yeah, no, they're gonna... Uh, 
kill everyone and then you find out that's not even they didn't even were going to do that they're just trying to hide yeah and then they go yeah, to they're leave. just trying to run yeah <laughs> that, that i loved the twist because there's like twists inside of twists first off the farzian mm-hmm. people living second mm-hmm. off one of them joins you which is even wilder what, what did you think first off, I, I know you kind of quickly played through this game did you get to the point where she admits that she had a thing with elizabeth oh uh wait say that again what tilda was so yeah tilda did you get yeah. to the point where um because they, they don't make it obvious, but did you get yeah, to the yeah, point yeah, they where had it's... a relationship together? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I didn't know if yeah, because I did so much side talking. I didn't know. If no, yeah, know. no. I mean that's part of that's part of the main quest or main. They do. Thing I know. I, says, know. I was just saying. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I, that that was like, oh, that makes way more sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they, yeah. Then we we're like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, she it. loved. She, yeah, she loved her. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, they had a thing. Uh, yeah, she was obsessed with Aloy because I of do, it. I, I do kind of like where her, even though she turns fucking crazy at the end, which hey, yeah. I get it, but she, yeah. she, I like that how that character turned. Like I, I liked no, the whole sure. arc of her. Of like yeah, no, and it all switches where it's, where it's like yeah, I've been lying. Nemesis is coming. It's gonna kill everyone, but we can go and like live. And she's like, I'm not doing that. And she's like, I'm not letting. I let her leave one time. Like I'm not gonna let it happen again. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, that's cool. Like that is a good line. Like holy shit. So yeah, everything. and then we have. Uh, I'm surprised she didn't even try to take um, beta. She clearly does not. So she's like she a probably, failed copy. So she's yeah. Like so Elizabeth she was, to her, yeah, I think yeah. So she thinks Aloy is like okay. You're like Elizabeth. You're better. Elizabeth. Like you're clearly <laughs> Elizabeth. Like she, you are a copy basically. Yeah, and she's kind of like a failed sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, what? But uh, now that you brought up beta, what do you, <laughs> dude? That was did not. You, <laughs> I was not expecting beta. I was sitting playing in the far Zenith. First off, I didn't see far Zenith people coming either. I was, I was like, whoa, these fuckers are crazy. I was like, what are these people doing? And then yeah, beta comes I out. In something else. Yeah. Beta comes out and like, whoa, they made a clone. Like I was like, wow, I can't believe I didn't think about that. Can't I cannot believe I did not think that they'd clone Elizabeth again and just make her as the Omega clearance person. Uh, yeah, I, when she popped up, I was like, "There's another one!" Like, and I'm like, "And then, then they were because yeah, because they took her out of that pod in that room." And I was like, "But wait, how many more are there then? Yeah, or is there any more?" I can't. I, they didn't it, really reference. It, it looked like everything that. was empty because when you're yeah. doing the thing, you're. Maybe this isn't clear, achievers. If they, if you know something, let us know. But I, as far as I understood. There was maybe one other tube that might have had someone in it, but everything else was dead. I think. I th- yeah, I, think. I thought there was. I I thought there was gonna be like a third one, but I was like, I don't know. <laughs> it's a third. It's just a, a, a like a another beta. It's like what? There's two betas now. Well, technically, it would be Omega, wouldn't it? Now the next. Uh, it, it, there's uh, Alpha, Beta, and then I think Gamma. Maybe is the, is the third one. I don't, know. I don't remember. Alphabet, probably. I don't remember, man. But. Speaking of um, the cloning process, I, I I enjoyed that they brought it back. Uh, what did sh- before we move on for far far zenith? Do you have any issues with that? With 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 the actual the ba- plot point of far zenith? Because I no. enjoyed basically everything other than the fact that like we. I just thought it was wild because I was not expecting like just to these people to fucking show up, and then them they're like they're like oh yeah, yeah. I thought they were just gonna wipe everybody up. No, no, they're just trying to run away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did like, like that's the wild. twist. I'm like, oh no, the Geralt dude was a massive piece of garbage. I'm surprised. Yeah, uh, I'm shocked. First off, that he didn't just come there and be like, hey, we're trying to run. Like he's just straight up just trying to kill people. So that that was pretty mm-hmm. wild. He's just like, yeah, just fucking kill everyone and and let's get out of here. Like, uh, yeah, we, I, we can't be here be around here but um uh we touched on it earlier i want to get back to it the final fight was so fucking cool like when yep. when uh she whispers into beta's ear like hey you know and you don't hear it which was such a good mm-hmm. take such a good t- oh, yeah. touch i was like oh we didn't hear it. i was when that happened i was like oh my god what did she tell her yeah i was like, she told yeah, when she was, like whispering, I was like i was like please tell us <laughs> and, and you you find out pretty soon which was like immediately like oh she told her to fucking put hephaestus in the printer mm-hmm. and she's just wow <laughs> like making millions of copies to like send Dude. out thunder jaws and uh what was the new one this uh 
the Spinosaurus one? What what was? Oh, gotcha. What was um, that one called? Here, I got you. Let me see. It was called a because I have the list. Not on that one, apparently. Here we go. Because there's so many new ones. It was a uh, slaughter spine. Slaughter spine. Summoning those things, fighting them. Dude, uh, that thing was wild. Did you fight any of those throughout the game? Yeah, because uh, I don't think you have to fight one in the main story, do you? Yeah, I, I fought two. You fought two? Those were yeah, I, went, I fought one all the way west, and, or going towards west, and then the... And I thought, you know, I thought you, you did have to fight I one for the main one. story. No, I, yeah. I, as soon as I said I was like, wait, I think you fight one. Yeah. There's only one thing you don't have to fight, strangely enough, and that's the rock breaker. That doesn't show up at all throughout the whole story. Dude, I had to find that thing. Yeah, I did too. For the yeah, for the, for trophy. the trophy. That was yeah. shocking. When I when it said I didn't kill something, I was like, "What? What did I miss?" And I look and I'm like, "Oh my god, a rock breaker!" Like it's just strange that there's one machine they didn't put in the entire story, and it's the rock breaker. Like I I know for a fact I did not fight that thing. So, no, that for sure. was they, very they definitely weird. Did. Do you think it's weird that the the tremor tusk was like a, this big thing in these commercials and stuff like that? And you fought, I fought maybe like two. So I fought like five or six, but I was farming for their tusks. So yeah, mm. they did kind of make it a big deal. I did actually think it was going to be more of a set piece because you fight it kind of early in the game. Honestly, yeah. you're pretty weak when you fight it too. So they make sh- like if you did not like level up prior, because I was yeah. not leveled up prior to that mission. I I was st- still kind of doing the main quest because I was intrigued on how it was going. And you're hanging out with Kataro, one of my new favorite characters, and you have to go kill this tremor tusk. And I love that. I love when you finish the mission. He goes, it, he it's dead." And you look and you grab the cannon, and you look over and you're like, "Yeah." uh, uh, Hikaru just goes, yeah, I, I expect it to be dead. <laughs> like, 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 he was fully expecting to be dead by then. I was like, wow, that, that's awesome. Like, this guy's cool. Yeah. Uh, so he, like, had no intention of living in that fight. But, yeah, well, you fight that thing early on, and, yeah, I think you, like you said, you fight one more. And then I, that's yeah, really I fought, it. Yeah, the only time I fought maybe a, a couple, maybe, like, throughout the game, I fought two. But, like, if I count the arena, I fought maybe, like, two or three. Or, like, the hunting grounds. But I don't want to count those, like, in the world. Right. Like, yeah, in the world, I only fought, like, two. Yeah, I I definitely thought we would have, like, a Lord of the Ring-esque moment with those things. You know how Mm -hmm. in the third movie? Yeah. he's jumping. I kind of thought we'd have something like that. Yeah, I thought we, yeah. We we didn't really. We kind of just fought one. And I was was like, wow, this was all over the promotions of the game. I I I thought the raptors more than anything, man. There were a lot of raptors. Yeah, do you have, like, a... First, do you have a we know? Do you have a favorite machine and also a like hated machine to fight against? <laughs> um, the Raptors are definitely I like. I I like I like I like them. I did too. But they're definitely I feel like one of the most annoyings because if you get there's like a bunch of them, they literally just jump at you or swack at you with the tail. Like they're pretty quick, so they're they're probably one of the most annoyings that I've had to deal with. Those but I, I feel annoying. like I, I feel like I think I, I believe, I still count that as my favorite though, just because it's a raptor. I love the claw. I love claw strider. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna say that was also, um, that would probably be my favorite too. I hate it as a mount because it's way too slow for some reason. Like I don't know why they made yeah. it so slow. I guess because it can fight. Yeah, you. And it's it's but, crazy because raptors are like super fast. If that's have, what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I I don't really understand why they made it so slow. Because I was like, maybe they don't want it to be like objectively the best mount in the game. But I was like, you could have made this a little faster. Because yeah. Because I, I guess the way the reason it's slow is because it um can attack. But like May- maybe. But like I'd rather it be fast. I don't care if it attacks. No, that was, that was strange. Did you utilize any of the newer features in this game, like the targeting arrow, or the um, uh, drill spears, or anything like that? Um, yeah, I, I yeah, um, Berserk I think bow too. Like you know, any, any no, yeah, the newer I used, stuff in the game. I used pretty much a bunch of like bunch of stuff, but once I um, uh, I can I try to keep one of everything just so I had multitude of things. Yeah. And then, like, what's you see, like, I forget what it's called. The it, it, it's not a machine gun, but it's like a it's like uh, this thing that shows multiple spikes no, or whatever. Uh, bolt blaster. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, that thing is so strong against those snakes, man. Mm-hmm. Oh God. My, what am I? Uh, I will say one pinpoint I'd give about this game is once you figure out a tactic, 
You can kind of mm-hmm. use that on anything. The spear thrower is one of the most OP things in the entire game. Yeah. The explosive spear thrower does an incredible amount of damage. And if you mm-hmm. do any sort of combo with them, you are like like mega killing whatever you're fighting. For instance, um, doing plasma damage mm-hmm. with a spear thrower and having all that pop at once is a, such an incredible amount of damage. So I will say the balance was a little off. I loved the Shredder Gauntlet, but it is way too weak. I get it's I, not really supposed to do damage, yeah. But the but it is it has to be. That's the one. A that's the more. one that I didn't use. I just used it once just to tr- to try it. I did too, and I like the idea. And, it's meant to be like a thing, and then you catch it and you throw it again, and you, and you try to do it three times, and your fourth throw is a combo throw that does more damage. The mm-hmm. idea is there of a really cool weapon. But when you when you it is incredibly uh, punishing if you do not yeah. hit the exact point you're supposed to hit, and I thought that was one of the coolest weapons in the game. But you don't really need it because it's kind. There's a thing that you know it's it's really good for tearing components. But I can just shoot a bow that has a component tear weave. When you eventually find those, I don't know if you found one of those. Uh, but the weave that that gives you fifty, uh, I think it's twenty five or fifty percent component tear damage. If you put that on a bow, any component in the yeah. game takes like two two hits, three hits, and it yeah. comes off easily. Yep. So that was one thing about the game too. Balance was a little off in a lot of areas with different weapons. The bolt blaster, I will agree, is very strong if you use it yeah. correctly. But they do punish you because you are so slow. It is like infuriating when I put that thing on and I go to dodge and she does the like. Like, like hit the ground like <laughs> yep. fucking you're like fuck, come on like, jesus i hate this thing i know that's the point of the gun but my god it's annoying yeah um so we talk about mounts how did you feel about having a flying mount so that was an incredibly cool part of the game that i'll be honest happens way too late <laughs> it happens way Same. too late in the game I, like I get it. it, like they're like, oh, the, you know, you finally had this bait, the, this mount towards the end of the game, so now you can start doing everything you want to do. I'm like, why can't I do this to, like halfway through the game? Like, but like give me the mount late, earlier. But you're, unless you're, no offense, achievers, unless you're crazy, you're gonna go beat the game after that because that is a huge point in the story. That's like that's like, let's just say, what was it? Three missions away from beating the game yeah basically maybe even less and maybe two yeah and i know the reason the reason is they don't want you flying around they want you on the ground looking at stuff and finding collectibles i understand but i've i'm gonna go beat the game so i'm probably not gonna do a lot of stuff after because i'm gonna do it before beating the game so i'm not gonna get the flying mount for that long do so much (laughs) so it was very yeah, once I got the mouse, I was like, oh, I'm just going to go beat the game. Strange. It was a strange decision uh, to yeah. me. Uh, speaking of strange decisions, um, did you have any issues with leveling in the game? So, at some points, yes. I feel like early on, I was flying through it. Like, I felt like I was going super fast. But once I started hitting the last couple hours, I'm like, whoa. I was like, I need to get to level 50, and it's not happening. But to be fair, I wasn't doing as many side things as you were. Yeah, so I was level 50. Like, I think before getting the... I think I was like 41 getting Poseidon. Or no, I'm oh, sorry. Wow. Not, no, I'm sorry. Uh, That's the second one. The third one was... Wait, no. Was Poseidon the third one that you get in the leveling scheme? Um, because there was three missions. It was good Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. Yeah, Poseidon was the third one because Demeter was the yeah, second one, right? I think so. Aether was first. Yeah, so uh, t- uh, I'm pretty sure I was like 38 getting Poseidon. I think. So like, you yeah, level it's up Aether, fast. It was Aether, Demeter, and then Poseidon. Yeah, you level up fast. So I do feel like leveling's a little strange in this game. So like, are you supposed to do everything? Because if you do everything, you are way too OP for this game. Mm-hmm. If you don't do everything similar to you, but although you did a lot of stuff, um, so I don't think you're a great example of this. But like, if if you kind of mainline the story, like you are going to be super under level, so maybe you're supposed to like and, 
mix and, see, and match. I wasn't too but... bad because I did some stuff, but I was level that's forty-seven towards the end of the game. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't. You're not a great example of this because I do. I, I feel like I feel like there's not a great middle ground in this mm -hmm. game. Like, either you do everything and you're super OP. Or you focus on the story and you, you're kind of low. Well, the game kind of makes you level up because there'll be a point. There was a point in the game where I was like, okay, I like each each mission is like one to one with the level you were at, or maybe two levels ahead. Like I think it was like level twenty six, and the mission was level twenty eight. And then I got to a certain mission, I can't remember what it was, and it jumped like five to ten levels. I'm like, whoa! I was like, all right, I need to go I back and I need to go grind real quick. How weird. I never had that problem, but I mean, I we, I think we just played the we probably just played the game differently. But yeah, yeah, I I was always, I think being fair, ten levels above everything I was doing, yeah. almost like almost yeah. every single thing because I was doing almost every side quest. I think I, was I have two levels under every time I was doing a mission. I think I have five side quests left in the game or something like that. Oh god, mm -mm. Uh, so, something. I don't have a lot um errands i think i have like five as well or something yeah but i did all the cauldrons obviously i did because i have the platinum but like i yeah. you know i did a lot of extra shit so maybe that's why and maybe. hey maybe it's not a critique because it seems like you did okay so, so maybe it's just if you're crazy like me and you play <laughs> way too much of the game i yeah i put i plan on the game in 30 hours fuck i should you probably you you probably put like 50 i think maybe it, I, more i think it was 40 like to 48 something like that yeah because you played the game you, yeah you did a lot more stuff than i did i'd have to look i'm pretty sure i'm around 48 because i all, all i did was the base set things just to get all the platinum and i probably did some extra stuff because i was missing levels at the end of the game when i beat yeah. the game i was 47 i needed to be level 50 so right. i went back did the arena realized that's not helping <laughs> <laughs> and, and for XP because you don't get XP for yeah, that. Yeah, you don't you get, get XP, his medals. Weirdly, which fucking I looked it up online and it tells me that it does and it does not. Weird. I had yeah, I looked up and they're like, oh yeah, what's what's the best way to like to level up or whatever. So I was like, oh, if you do the arena, you know that gives you XP and stuff like that. It does not. So do not do the arena for XP. Do you get XP for killing the stuff? No. It's so weird. Why did they yeah, say you don't that? get any XP in the arena at all. I'll be honest, I don't was, know if I did or not. So I assume I did. Like, and I already had did it, like like a couple of them. So I was like, I I got to do them all now. So I just did them all, and then I just kept going. That's probably why I, that probably added an extra couple hours. Mm. But Speak the arenas were fun, at least. Speaking of which, maybe we'll, you know we're gonna close the show with that. Instead, we're gonna move over to. Do you have a favorite character or favorite moment in this game? Um, I have to bring up Varl. I was gonna say I have to it's be not honest. my favorite moment, but I do have to bring up that that, that saddening part. I, I have to be honest. He was, I'm be real. He he was probably my favorite character in the game. I, yeah, I did so enjoy that, him. That hit me pretty hard when, it, and he, you know he went out like a beast. I did. I do wish he, you know, kind of hurt him in some way because I understand he had no chance. But I was like, damn, like at least do something. Maybe maybe let him stab him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, it just kind of sucked that he's like, "I got this," so and the dude just fucking bitch. So the way the way that the way the way that I looked at like, that, why did he go out like that? Fuck. The man. way I look at it is like it's like a tall guy grabbing like a little <sighs> kid's head and just like, holding him and then just shoving him down. That's how I felt. That's what it yeah. was. Yeah. So he was actually one of my favorite characters. First off, loved his design. Like his mm -hmm. fucking cool ass like kind of suit was really cool mm -hmm. and i enjoyed I don't that they gave him a beard but then they shaved it I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah 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 you can kind of yeah yeah this double thing and, I, and his hair was fucking cool too yeah. so i i liked him and it, and i hate that he <laughs> again i hate that he went out like that because like fuck man yeah and he was with the he with uh was it zo zo yeah, or, yeah that and made it they even pregnant. worse and she's pregnant which i was like okay we get we yeah that we that get, that we get to see him live on at least, right? Yeah, that cemetery or the the little scene with the where that, that they was, buried him. That was touching. I was that was that's what I was. I told you one uh, one day when I was playing, I was like, I probably had one of the most emotional scenes in a game, and I was like, that got that got me. Like, yeah. it, I didn't like tear up, but like I felt no, the but you energy. Felt it. Yeah, you, you yeah. Felt, it, I was it, like, damn, it the music, the everything. Yeah, the line that got me is um. Uh, one day I'll come with my child and we'll watch the sunset together. Yeah, like we used to do. It, it was something to that effect. And I was like, Yeah, I was like, Oh, fuck! I felt that one in the heart. It was like a good heart yeah. punch when she said that. I was like, Damn! Like, 
Mm-hmm. These dudes are like lines on a paper, and I'm really feeling for these fucking people. It was yep. really good. I I very much enjoyed that. I will miss Faro. Uh, yep. I do. I really will miss. I was like, damn. He. I really liked his character. Uh, and I'll be honest. I I kind of thought maybe it's more platonic, but I I kind of thought him and Aloy might get together. Uh, yeah. I kind of did think that at the beginning of the game. I was like, oh, you guys seem to have. But I think I read just too much. I think it was kind of a platonic. Well, yeah, well I think it's because I think we always want the main protagonist to have some type of romance, like romance yeah, or yeah. Uh, like I mean, significant other. Every media does it. So, you know, I. I not yeah, every, so and, this. And I, and I don't. I'm not saying she should have. I just thought it might happen. No, for sure. Yeah, I thought so too. At some points, I mean, I was like, oh, uh, Aaron, uh, is his name Aaron? No, is like, is, like her bet? No, I'm not saying they don't want. I'm just saying oh, they're oh, like oh, best oh. friends. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 like big brother, little sister kind yeah. of relationship. Better. Yeah, I enjoy that. I don't want to see that. I don't think it will though. It, it no, clearly, no, 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 I don't want that either. I like their brother sister thing. Yeah. Um. Did you mess with the uh Las Vegas at all? So I did the mission to get it up and running. That's the thing that I was talking about that they um they don't I I hate that the Las Vegas area was pretty much a side quest and it, it wasn't it, it accentuated more I feel like right. I mean maybe it was my part my fault for not exploring it more but like I feel like once I got there I did the mission it got it turned up and I think I we went back in there to do to to kill the uh, I'm gonna call it a Loch Ness monster the 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 the, the thing in there uh, Tide Ripper I believe tide ripper thank you and that and that was, that's the only two times i ever went back to vegas like i feel like it's vegas i feel like they should need i feel like it should have been this big thing so there's a couple things you probably missed there is one side quest that you do with them it's called lofty okay. ambitions you have to go inside and steal a statue that has a uh what is, is the, the word f- is that the firework thing that blows fire out of it yeah, yeah, and then they you can change the fire the 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 fireworks and the and you can change it by seasons and stuff. Is that is that it? No, but that is another thing you can do. Okay, I did that. Oh, okay, you did that one. Because I the, did the statue. You it, put the it ornament. Blows fi- you put the okay. One. Oh wait, no, there's well, a, I, wait. I'm sorry. I, rem- an, I remember the red. Dra- oh, I remember. I remember doing a mission with the red dragon head thing that I helped the guy. He wanted the head because it blows fire or whatever. Oh, I didn't do that. So what I so what I'm thinking of is there's a uh a part that I'm blanking on his name, but the inventor in Vegas, the main kind yeah. of the main guy, he needed it to power a hot air balloon. Yeah, that yeah. So he needed the mach- he needed the the the. Gotcha. You said fireworks. So I was like, what are you talking well, about? No, no, no. I that was sorry. Two separate two separate missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the other yeah, mission no, is night lights, is- which makes the the lights yeah. change if you change yeah the this the other one was where you get the dragon statue and you need the fire to to blow to do the hot air balloon yeah i did cr- that and then you crash <laughs> yeah I, I did i did that too okay okay so you did do that see okay so i did some of it i just did some I, of it i feel like for it being such a big thing like, you think las vegas yeah you would think you get more i thought maybe like i mean yeah i know it's desert or whatever but i was thinking people would go underneath everything would show up like I, be more i'm kind of with you uh, with this. populated so I, i'm kind of with you with this when i went back to vegas the first time i went oh my god like the city's alive yeah i bet there's people walking around or something there's no yeah. one <laughs> no like it's there, just yeah, a still... vacant space so i was like yeah okay so i do i do feel accomplished as a player because i can look at this and be like you know i did i did you know me and aloy did this yeah but also like Nobody's really uh, if, using it. It feels like all I did was turn lights on. So I'm like, okay, I was kind of hoping people would be partying, which you mm-hmm. only, you only sort of feel that when you do the nightlight mission, and you're able to change the the lights. Yeah, people are kind of commenting on it, but it's in that little area, and it's just that. It's just a like, little square. All the things downstairs, like well, like clean it, like get all the robots out and. Get people downstairs and show them the, the big astronaut and you know like do all that like there's nobody down there like we'll use that yeah so I I I also agree that it feels like a missed opportunity maybe there will be a setting in the next game that you come back and it is alive and like he's got he's a big maybe. investor guy there so, who knows but I I I do agree I I I was very I was like oh I, like I really was like when I came back like oh my god like the city's gonna be alive. 
yeah, people that might be playing or doing something. And they were just kind of standing in the same spot as they were before. And I was like, okay. All right. This, yeah, that was a little disappointing. Like I was hoping, like a thing is like, oh, like some so people are like looking around the casinos or whatever that was there, and be like, and then you see like there's a little no- like I was thinking, imagining it was like you grab a node, and it's like, oh, these used to be called slots. <laughs> yep. Like you know, and people are over here trying to like fuck with it and stuff. Mm-hmm. Really quickly, uh, speaking of kind of like side things and whatnot, uh, we haven't really talked about the conversations that you can kind of pick i don't know what you want to call them but this mass effect like response system that you have like the decisions that you can make yeah okay oh, let's put that in quotes decisions yeah. that you can make don't yeah. do anything but you can kind verbal, of pick away the verbal decisions what like... do you think about that because in my opinion i'll do i'll do my quick opinion because i did actually talk about this in depth mm-hmm. with emmett on his original impressions video like a month ago yeah but I I will in my opinion stays the same. This feels tacked on. Uh, I I There's prefer no need for it. I prefer Aloy as like I I want Aloy as Aloy. Yeah. When I have to pick those choices, the way it's I me. the well, the way I think is okay. What would Aloy do? Because I don't want I don't want me making Aloy say something. Yeah. I and Achiever, sorry if this is confusing. For instance, Mass Effect. I am Commander. She- I am Shepard. I the Shepard is I. I Shepard is I. I am Shepard. Shepard is me. Yeah, I, and like that's there's a one to one. Yeah. When I have Aloy choosing an option to speak, it's wasted. I feel because I don't want me. I I want Aloy yeah. to continue talking. I want her to to say, "Hey, you know, I don't like this." So. Yeah. When no, I get I, those I, options, I agree that too. when I get those options, I'm just picking what I want Aloy to say because she is a defined character that I want to see her story play out. I don't want to yeah. touch it because that means I am influencing Aloy. I just want to play the game and experience what she's experiencing, not me kind of telling her what to say. A perfect example of this is the Sun King early in the game. Yeah. What the fuck was that? You had an option of like flirting with him, and then you had an option of like denying him. I was Alex, very uncomfortable, and I know that sounds weird because it's a video game, but yeah. I was like, I don't know what Aloy is. Aloy attracted to him? I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't I, want to be. I do, I've never. I don't want to pick that for her. Like I she, have I mean, never been in that situation in a game before. So yeah. f- from the get go, I was tainted with this well, experience. Because normally, when you have those, when you normally when you have those decisions, you have your own character. You've created an own character. Yeah. Aloy, you can't just create. It's like, oh, you know, the standard one's Aloy, but no, let's create your own. No, the, you're Aloy. Like, just don't make me pick a decision. Do it like it's her decision. Yeah, like, like whoever's writing the character, like you know, you've made Aloy. You know more than I what she's yeah. gonna say. Please, for like, the love of God, like, make those decisions. Like that I was incredibly I, uncomfortable. <laughs> like I was fine. I was fine with the with the decision thing with the with the word wheel when you needed more information. Yeah, yeah I was fine. But with when that you too. when you need like when it shows a heart or a brain or, I or what the little symbols are yeah, a fist. I'm like, why? Why do I need that? Like, yeah, let her talk. It's just. Completely I usually just always press heart or, or the, the 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 good one, the regular neutral one. Yeah, I, 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 to me, it was either uh, brains or brawn. So, like, it was either brains, if it made sense, or it was either a fist for, like, if she was, like, slighted in some way. And I was like, no, Aloy would be pissed about this. Or it was hard if she was trying to sympathize with somebody. For instance, um, I picked heart with uh, Regala. Mm-hmm. Um, because I picked the heart because I'm like, oh, no, no. I know you. you you're going to want to die. Like, way better than this like yep. i kill you now that solves nothing which by the way i'm cur- i am assuming nothing else changes i'm assuming someone just intervenes and, and makes her fight you fight with you anyways but after you beat her in that fight and you're like no no i i'm promising you a better death and she was like okay yeah i'll do it hey uh, she went out like a g she went out like a g i i respect went shooting through the fucking roof when that happened dude because i was kind of whatever she was kind of generic y bad guy i was like yeah whatever you know because yeah, after you after she was like okay i'll join you they kind of like 
never really she, she just like sidelined the whole time she until didn't have she any dies. more dialogue yeah. yeah until she died yeah yeah, yeah they, i agree because because it's clear that they were like all right you know she, she's back to to die now <laughs> so yeah. i agree too yeah but she went out like a g and she was like she it was really cool moment of like you're going and the thing breaks and she's like go this was the death i was promised and i was like damn you are freaking yep. cool. You are yeah. a crazy, crazy bitch, but you're cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so I enjoyed her. Um, wh- one thing I, I will kind of knock the game though. Uh, I'm pretty. Yeah, you did this because it was the platinum. The um, outpost for the camp. Oh, you gotta go. It's fine. But um, oh, one second. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Uh, Alex is stepping away. But what I was gonna bring up, achievers. One issue I had with the game, surprisingly, the the, uh, the outposts. So uh, if you did all the camp outposts and you uh, sat down, you did them granularly, each one, you finish out with fighting kind of the head rebel person. Um, and I feel like that was really poorly set up. I didn't feel like I triumphed over anyone. When I did it, it was kind of cool because Aaron was like, oh, it's you. That, but like it kind of happened out of nowhere and i didn't really feel connected to to that event i was like okay this is all right i'm killing this chick i destroyed her in like five seconds i remember mm-hmm. i killed her really fast i don't remember what weapon i used i think i used a an explosive spear and i just threw it at her face and like killed her almost instantly are you talking about regala no 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 um i don't remember her name but the end rebel camp boss fight so if you remember the Got all the it. rebel camps are building up to a to a, a a woman named Hanor or something. I think it starts with an A. Um, Amiria or something. Um, let's see. So I, I think that was missed. I was actually wanting to be excited to fight this person. I was like, okay, like, can I, you know, learn a little bit about her? And you kind of do, but you, it's kind of like happens a little late. Okay. I, oh, I got you. I don't. Well, yeah. yeah, the Aaron mission you help. Yeah, yeah. Sons yeah, of I know. Prometheus yeah. thing. Uh, a, a Sarah. Yes, is her Sarah. Name. Thank you. Thank you. I knew yeah. it was like eight. She had a good bow, though, once I killed her. <laughs> she did. She did. The uh, elemental legendary thing, I think mm-hmm. it was. Like, it had all the elements on a bow. That was pretty good. I, shout out to her. I was like, hey, it, it was worth killing you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. Took her bow and left. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, Alex, any... Because this is clearly setting up for the next game. But what, what do you think happens in the next game? Obviously, we're getting Nemesis. Do you think we stick with... The Forbidden West, do we go back to the dawns? I mean, do, do we... What do you think? I... Ass, um, hmm. I'm assuming that we... Uh, we hmm. I'm trying to... Th- I'm wondering, because I want to say that we'll probably stick to uh, the West. Okay. But, like, I'm trying to figure out, because now we have, like, you know, a base and stuff like that. We didn't have a base in the first one. That's true. So uh, now that we have a base, I feel like this is kind of like where our home is, is yeah. that, 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 that mountain. And I think like when since Nemesis is coming, I was like, honestly, I feel like the, the whole point is like, I think she, uh, we're going to try to just to get Gaia up and running, like, because I feel like they're going to sacrifice Gaia mm, like to, to get Nemesis. Oh, oh, you're destroy just, Nemesis. Oh, oh, you're just assuming like later. I'm on. assuming. Yeah, I, oh, that's okay. what I just assuming what they're going to try to do. So, but I think we'll be like, hey, we'll sacrifice Gaia, but we're going to try to make her redo the pole population again before that happens. Interesting. So, so I don't know. What, what did you Because that's the only thing I can think to destroy Nemesis. I mean, I don't even know. What, I don't even know what you do to kill. I don't know what it is, if I'm being honest. Like, is it a it just, AI? Is it Because I know it's the culmination of all of the people as far as in this mind, but they're mm-hmm. fucking crazy. So, yeah. uh, I is it a machine? Is this a sentient AI being that can inf- like? Is it a or does it live? I, I, I'm I think it's be- similar to the whole Gaia and Hephaestus and yeah, all those. I think I'm it's similar it's to that. A, it, I but, mean, they did kind of say it's an AI, but I'm just curious. Like, what what does it mean to kill it? Is it like a code sequence, or is it just a straight up like we we'll, we're gonna fight a I don't know a machine eventually that has it in its side, kind of similar to what we did with um, Hephaestus from the first game, or sorry Hades, uh, from the first game. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have a bad feeling that that Nemesis is not the villain. Some either. 
You think it's gonna be something else? I feel like I feel like it's gonna switch. Like like I mean. Nemesis like um I don't know why, but like uh, it, it's it's I'm yeah, sure it's you have a feeling it's there's weird. more to something. No, yeah, I feel like they they, cause they keep saying, oh, Nemesis is the one. They're the ones hiding. They're hiding from Nemesis. They, that's the one who destroyed everything. But like, I'm wondering, like, if there's more to it than that. Yeah, there probably is. I mean, first off, they lied almost about every single aspect of their story to begin with. So, I mean, I mm-hmm. wouldn't be shocked if there's something else. I mean, I remember the one, the one dude that was. Um, when you go all the way to the Forbidden West, he was st- he. I guess he was all deformed. You don't see him, but like when they open the door, he's just been there for th- hundreds of years. Um, oh god, what's his name? He was in that vault, and you had to get the Omega clearance to even open it. And you were and you went in with that leader. Uh, You're talking all the about the dying Hephaestus. Is that what that was? Yeah, that was the dying Hephaestus. Um, uh, because remember, silence captures it at the end of the of the last game, uh, and that's see. the thing that's like killing all life and stuff. Well, no, or I Hades. I, I keep getting them confused. Isn't that no? Hades? And I no, not Hades. It was there's something. It was somebody else. Remember the oh, when you go all the way to the Forbidden uh, Forbidden West and okay. you find the dude. It's like oh, it's the leader. It's like I want to. You know, you're like Elizabeth Sobek, and I'm like this person. Oh, 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 and oh. The, the, cha- the Chow, or CEO. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the chow, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, the First CEO though, guy. That was fucking hilarious, all of that. Like, yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah. As soon as they did it, I was like, they just call him Chow? What the fuck? And then it took me, I'm like, wait a minute. So this is the, the a, CEO. This is a religion of corporate America. I was like, this is pretty fucking hilarious yeah so and then he the, was like the, well he was a descendant of ted faro apparently thank you ted faro I, I couldn't te- it seemed like it was a i i guess i was trying to find it in i, mean, I might have missed it but i was trying to find it in his uh vault that he had mm-hmm. i couldn't tell if it was like all right i'm i'm gonna have sex with this person and we have to keep track Every generation of who mm-hmm. I am to make this work. I'm assuming that's how it worked. Maybe. Or if yeah. he's just some crazy bit. I mean, he clearly he was that far because everything worked. I was just curious, like, yeah, weird. So I guess they just know and they just slowly began to revere him or something. Mm-hmm. And, and just hundreds of years later, like they found out, like, yeah, no, I'm I'm Ted Farr. I, I used to. Uh, I'm a descendant of his, and I'm still him, and all this crazy shit. Yeah, he, but like, he goes the... in that he goes in that locked room, or whatever, and you hear like gro- like growling or groaning, or whatever. And yeah, he, he so... walks in, he, and he, it's pretty much something deformed. We don't so, get to see it. Yeah, what did? You... That's a great thing to bring up now. What did you think about that? So not only did we not see it. They kind of hint that it is just a fucked version of Ted Faro because he just yeah it, well it is he, I think it is Ted Faro but no, like no, it he, is. yeah he kept uh, what was it he then he kept doing experiments for himself so to be, to he, stay alive. So this longer. was actually a, a great story I actually very much enjoyed. Yeah, he he had a doctor with him, and the rule of 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 him being safe was he needs to keep him alive. Mm-hmm. So he's like, yeah, I can do that. I just I. You know, I need my stuff and some people, but I don't believe Ted Farr listened to him or something or uh, mess with him. Like when he was doing it, he was like, he was leaving like logs, and he was like, you know, I'm I'm glad we made this deal to have my daughter here, and he's kind of talking to himself. And but he's like, I could I could have maybe done this if I had my lab back in. I think he said like mm-hmm. Idaho. He said a state or something. Um, but I'm in a box with nothing but me and some tools. I. I can make him live probably three times uh, his his supposed age, but I can't make him immortal. And he's making me do these things that I know might not work. And he's st- yeah. and he keeps just doing stuff. And he's like, I think he's going crazy. I don't know. My daughter is like losing her mind here. And so mm-hmm. and eventually it ends with the doctor and his daughter t- killing themselves. It's like slitting mm-hmm. their wrists, I think. And Ted Farr finds him and he's like, um, you know, those... Uh, he basically makes fun of them. He's like, you know, I'm fine. I, I think, and I think he goes like, I, I can take care of myself. Like, I, I might, uh, die, but I'll live or something. He's like, I, he knows he'll yeah. change, but he, he's like, I'll live, I'll be fine. 
But then you hear like the grungling later on. You're yeah. like, holy shit, that's Ted Faro. And the other guy goes and looks at him. He's like, what is abomination is this? So whatever. Dude, I was. I, w- I was hoping they'd show it, but. I can't tell if I want like it more without seeing it. Because it's almost like more scary that we didn't see it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah, you, you can only you're imagine, you know, what what abomination it looks I, yeah, like. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm sure it's some deformed, bloated, monster, garbage thing that's, like, probably multiplying cells over and over again, but it's mm-hmm. doing it incorrectly, so it's just this big mass of Goo. skin and grossness. Yeah. So I, I, I was... <laughs> when it happened, I was like, oh, my God, are we... I, honestly, I thought it was going to be, like, a Last of Us moment. Uh, so slight, very small spoilers for Last of Us Part 2. Uh, but the hospital scene, I thought it was gonna be like that, gotcha, where yeah, yeah. a build up and we and we're gonna see fight, it. And we're gonna, and then we, and do, we, we have to fight, fight it. it. I was, yeah. I was, I was gonna be like, ooh, this might get gross. Yeah. But you end up not seeing it, and you know maybe that is for the best because like you don't even go back in there to kill it or no, burn it, but no. it just it just it gets destroyed with yeah, the building. Yeah, that thing's dead. So. Yeah. I, I, you know, I I think I. At the end of the day, it's probably best that we didn't see it because it, it's almost scarier that way because you can kind of picture in your head like what gross a fucked up thing that guy saw because yeah. i loved it because you kind of got it through their reactions he's just like burn it and like he, he's like no one must know kill them like, like yeah, i just like lo- i love him he's like his- burn it i'll and kill everybody and yeah, he no one knows. leave. and he's he's like actively like all right i have to kill everyone with me like because he's like actively trying to kill fuckers too i'm like this mm-hmm. dude's crazy love that he died by the way by ted farrell's statue to head hitting him too which was pretty funny uh yeah uh, but yeah, that entire, <laughs> I, I know I keep bringing this up, but I, I loved at the end of that mission, when you get out, the guy confronts you, you know, the, the like second guy in charge or whatever. Um, oh yeah. He's and like, he's what like, happened? he's like, what happened? And they always like, I love it. Cause they always like, he, um, t- he, he sacrificed himself to, to make sure we could leave. And the guy goes, Ted, uh, uh, the chow was a piece of shit and he would not have let you go if you don't tell me the truth i'm killing yeah. you all and she's like okay all right and he died like a coward he was trying to run and he fa- <laughs> and I, I love that the guy was like no he is a piece of garbage you are lying what did he do yeah. <laughs> like, i was like <laughs> this is fucking cool like stuff like that is what made what makes this game memorable to me i'm like okay that, they, there's there's a lot of times where the kind of subvert what you think's about to happen and i love it it's a really good i had such a fun time with this game uh to kind of put a cap size on this uh first off alex we're before we leave i'll of course throw it to you to bring up any story things that we might have skipped over but to kind of put a cap on all this a lot of open world games to come out and people keep bringing up the open world kind of fatigue people do, do you mm-hmm. have any feelings of that whatsoever? And conversely, do you, do you apply any of those feelings to overall games as a whole? Or are you not really in the camp of we're in, we have too many and we kind of need to stop? What do you think? Um, I haven't felt that way yet. Um, may, I, I don't know. I just... No, I mean, like, after, I mean, because after playing Horizon, I went straight to Elden Ring, and I did not get that sense. I was like, oh, another open world game, I guess, because mm. it, ha- it depends on the type of world, open world game you play. It's, I mean, it, it depends how different. If it's like, like, say, you know, you you play Far Cry, and then you play, and then you, you, you play something very similar to that, you go, uh, it's over and over and over again. So, like, because it's, as long as they it keeps it, they keep the dynamic different, is uh, I think will be fine. That's why I was worried about Suicide Squad, which they delayed. Which so I'm I'm glad because I'm now I can get a refresh, and um, I'm hoping because I haven't played I had I, I tried Far Cry Six, but I didn't really play it. So I'm, I guess now that I've taken a break of those type of games, if that is that similar case with that game, then I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna worry about it. But no, the fatigue is... I don't got it. You yet. kind of stole the words out of my mouth with basically everything you said. I was actually going to bring up Far Cry as well. So I, I think a couple months ago would have said, yes, I, I do have an open world fatigue. I think we need to do different games. I do 
agree with the last point of what I just said. I think we should probably start weaning off of them mm-hmm. and start kind of focusing a little bit more on linear or maybe something in the middle of it's open world, but it just doesn't have so much in it. Because I think yeah. we can cut, uh, like, I think we could have cut, like, a lot of stuff in this game in half, and we would have been fine. Like, cut the upgrade costs in half, cut the collectibles in half, and I don't think we would have lost that much. Yeah. Because uh, there's just so much in the game. However, uh, uh, going back to my point, if I would have been asked a couple months after Far Cry, I would have said yes. But yeah. having oh, yeah, just sure. played Horizon and, and Elden Ring, I can't say that, because I had way too much fun in Elden Ring, and I had way too much fun in this game. So... I'm not having a fatigue as long as they're unique. Elder Ring, for goddamn sure, is unique. Horizon is a game about robotic dinosaurs thousands of years after the Earth has lost, like, most of its life. So, very unique as well with Horizon. So, I, I would have agreed past, but right now, I'm like, not really. As long as it's fresh enough for me, I don't really am too bothered with it. I know a lot of people are kind of saying that now. They're like... You know, yeah, we've we've kind of been playing these games for a long time. Really, starting with like, I mean, the biggest game, if I remember correctly, Alex. Maybe there's something even further, but like Assassin's Creed Two was like kind of like the first time where, like, we made an open world in quotes, and like there was a bunch of collectibles that you could run around, and it, yeah, that's a game that I think of like kind of kicked off everything, and then everyone did like a piece of that game you know batman arkham city and no for sure keeps, yeah. it keeps going where like yeah we kind of kept making the same open world over and over again yeah but with a, with a game like this i although no, of course a, it has all the things different it, it does and and it also doesn't it has all the far cry 6 stuff it has camps it has um certain collectibles that you find you have to kill animals like it's almost the exact same stuff but for some reason in this one I'm way more compelled to do it. Maybe it has something to do with Aloy. Maybe it's the unique environments. Maybe it's the unique enemies. Or maybe it's a combination of everything. Probably a combination of everything. But <laughs> to end my point, I would have definitely said I was. But playing these last two games, I'm like, no, as long as it carries something a little more unique with maybe the way it tells its story or the format of its story or et cetera, et cetera, then I enjoy it a lot more than what I thought yep. previously. Alex, anything left that you want to discuss about the game? Is there something that maybe we skipped out on? There is one point um, uh, I might bring up before we leave, but aside from that, anything else that we may have missed? No, I think, I mean, the game is is really good. I mean, I've, I, I'm i surprised that I platinumed it so quick. I was just playing it back wasn't to back. It was easy platinum. Yeah, no, it, it was. Yeah. And then um, now making me, it's making me want to go and do the go back and platinum the first one, which is not a hard platinum either. You could actually do it. No, too. yeah. So yeah, so yeah, no, it's definitely, it's definitely up there for game of the year. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I don't think this has a chance of beating Elden Ring for most people, but yeah, I I I loved this game. I love Aloy as characters. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'm going to bring up before we say goodbye to all the achievers, uh, really quickly, I do enjoy Silence quite a bit. I enjoy Silence. That's one person I did not bring up. This is kind of what I end the show with. I love his character arc. Um, I liked that he was kind of doing behind the scenes work the entire game, mm-hmm. and you only kind of dipped in every now and then, where like you know you would get the focus, and he'd be like, "Hey, what's up?" Hey, you know, I've I've yeah. been doing X, Y, Z, and while you've been messing around, I've actually done stuff. Like, I have, yeah, these fuckers are crazy, but I need them to be crazy because I know there's crazier motherfuckers coming to kill us. Yeah. So, hey, I, I know it's bad. I know, hey, I know you see it as bad, but I'm getting results while you're out there, I don't know, doing Aloy stuff. Doing Aloy stuff. Yeah, that, no, that is that is true. Like, he was the one getting, like, he did the... What is it called? The EMP? That machine, yeah, the EMP thing. Like yeah. that that was wild. The EMP was very cool. And he yeah. just he's like, hey, like, we just have to get close. And if I can do this and it works, we should be good. And we get there, he throws it. There's that beat where it's like it's again like a boom and it explodes yep. and they're all like, What the fuck? And like they just yep. get shot and they're like, Oh my god, we don't have shields. And they all just get murked. Such a good game. Yeah. Achievers, thank you so much for joining us.
for the spoiler cast for Horizon Forbidden West. I thought I'd say Horizon Zero Dawn at some point in the spoiler cast. I didn't. I did not. I I think I untrained myself because I kept saying Horizon Zero Dawn referencing this game. I I kept saying like Horizon Zero Dawn 2 and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I kept kept saying that. It seems that I've lost it, thankfully. Uh, yeah, I but, feel like that. I wonder if that was like a lot of issues with a lot of people. They were like, "Oh God, am I gonna say it?" I feel like they, I feel like it had to be right. Yeah. Anyways, achievers, again, thank you so much for joining us. Remember, support the show, like, comment, subscribing. Commenting is one of the big ones. Or if you just leave, just any comment down below that helps us quite a bit. Remember, if you're on a podcast service of your choice, listening currently, you can do a five star review. You can head over to YouTube. And you can like the video. You don't have to watch it all. If you do, and that helps us a lot too. But you can, you know, do a comment or anything. Any, any ways you support us, it's quite enough for us. Thank you so much. Remember, until next time. Go, Chief. Chief.